if somebody has a book, bus to uh, page 29. Hmm. Uh, even. Yeah, this even. Yes. Even if one chants for a long time, prema will not come in the heart as long as one commits offenses. That is why the devotional scriptures are always warning the pra practicing, practicing devotees to be aware of offenses. When we investigate the root cause of offenses, then we can see that it is an envious mood that stops love from entering in our hearts. This envy finds its cause in false egotism. And as a result, a low person may consider himself to be the greatest. The ignorant may think themselves to be very learned, learned. And one is unable to see one's own fault and another person's qualities. Thus, one praises oneself and criticizes others. In this way, offensive persons are envious of another person's success and cannot tolerate the greatness of, an of another Vaishnava. Although he can clearly recognize that greatness. They may even consider the guru who is the very form of God's great mercy, Karunya Gana Vigraha, to be an ordinary human, to be an ordinary human being. And they cannot have faith in the glorification of the holy name, even if they have clearly heard it. False words, violent behavior, and sinful acts like theft and so will create great offenses in the heart of such an envious and deceitful person. In the Padma Purana, ten offenses to the holy name are written down and we will briefly describe them below. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Oh, is somebody want to share? So uh, before going to this, uh, uh, this is, I think, 10 offenses before going to go 10 offenses so this uh, uh, this say uh, mb sometimes we have a nature of mb and also this envy is caused, envy finds its cause in false egotism. This false ego means uh, we forget our soul and also our Ishta Deva and our relationship. Then we think this is my body and I'm a Lord, I'm master. 
I can control. I can manipulate others. I'm an enjoyer. That kind of tendency comes from this false ego. So today, Guru Dev is saying, actually, we check 24-7 what I'm thinking. What I'm feeling. Because what I'm thinking, then we'll act accordingly. And if we want to be uh, say, Siddha or Manjari, we, if we think 24-7 about Manjari, about Lira, then we can become Manjari. But if we think some material things, then we may get this material things. If we think uh, in Bhaiti Bhakti, Bhaiti Bhakti, we kind of, Bhaiti Bhakti means uh, we are using this body and uh, we don't uh, go, we don't think ourselves so much. We are thinking this body. And then we have a tendency to see others fault, judge others. But we don't check, we don't judge myself, but we want to judge other selves. Then we have a tendency to some kind of competition. I'm great. Other people is not great. This kind of tendency. So this is the kind of we try to do, kind of find the fault to others. And sometimes we criticize others. So Baba mentioned all come from this false ego, egotism. So, and we see this uh, in Padma Purana, 10 offenses to the holy name. So this is very interesting. So Andakaji, would you want to say something? This kind of tendency for the ego and uh, some... I... <laughs> rather, rather, everyone. So... <clears throat> in my life, I made so many mistakes, my God. I'm still making so many mistakes. And, uh, how to say, the most painful mistake is to hurt my dear ones. And so, <laughs> if I'm in bad mood, who will be first to hurt? Kishore. Mm. And I love her the most. And then there are my friends. <laughs> Jananda. <laughs> Yoga Shakti is here. Mm -hmm. If I have like consciousness, I mean material consciousness, I I don't care if I hurt my if I hurt myself. <laughs> but when I see that because of my consciousness, my friends, my dear friends who support me in my in my 
most important attaining most important in, important uh, goal of my life my service to my rada with my friends in eternal vrindavan they are supporting me and i'm hurting them so this is what hurts me the most so at one point in my life i saw this pattern i'm crazy then everyone suffers <laughs> my god what the pattern and then i decided okay from th this day on i will be very careful that my friends and my beloved ones always guest get the best from me from i will i don't care if i hurt myself but for them i need to be best myself best me for the beloved ones best me for my friends best me for my children best me for my guru mm. So, yeah, let's not be crazy. <laughs> Let us not be crazy. Let us not add more problems to our wives, husband, children, uh, neighbors, and uh, I don't know, country, and guru, and uh, <laughs> mandir. Let us add solutions. Let us add positivity less let us add service let us add love yeah so that's what i'm thinking <laughs> thank you for asking yeah <laughs> <I got it. laughs> yeah to do you know we are reading some a few days ago uh churning ocean of milk ah. <laughs> Gurudev was saying, this is our bhajan, or practicing, you know, our bhakti. And, uh, you know, we don't want any suffering. We don't want any fighting. We don't want any kind of, you know, bad feeling also. Mm -hmm. But uh, some or other, we are practicing this devotional service. Sometimes, you know, sometimes other devotees, you know, say something. Or sometimes Gurudev say to us, you know, find out our, our, smash our false ego. So, still we have anarta, you know, then that anarta is like kind of sometimes appear. Mm. And this is also sometimes happening, but uh, we want to, we don't want to, we want to, uh, this kind of bad feeling, we want to minimize, actually. Yeah? Keep it dropped. Yeah. <laughs> keep the poison. Keep yeah. <laughs> so good day, we say, keep poison in the throat. Don't, 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 don't drink. Do you want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> So I join now. So, and the topic is about aparada. Aparada means uh, apa, separate from rada, love, means cut relationship. Mm. Any aparada, it's written in Shastra. If we do aparada, it becomes cut relationship. Now, just under Gaji says. It's no way for us. Prapada says relationship is most important. That's a very simple. Make relationship with anyone with love. This is our only way. That's why. <laughs> so whatever comes, first of all, we should ask our Swamini and our Gurudev and our sisters and the brothers 
with this relationship, we have everything. If we cut relationship, no way. Just remember it, then life is easy. <laughs> this has come to my heart now. Mm. <laughs> rather, rather. No. You want to say something? <laughs> 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 you want to say something? You want to say something? I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah. now, now we are going to discuss kind of 10 uh, offenses. 10 offenses to the Holy Name. And uh, so please help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please mm-hmm. go. So just the last sentence. In the Padma Purana, 10 offenses to the holy name are written down and we will briefly describe them below. First, Sadhu Ninda, blaspheming the saint. Blaspheming the saint is a grave offense and it is called Mahat Aparada. A Sadhu is a devotee of God through whose preaching the holy name has become world famous. How can the holy name tolerate blasphemy of such a person? Many people think that there is no harm in discussing the fault of some devotee who is engaged in some wicked activities. Because that criticism is true and justified. But Sripada Sridhara Swami writes in his commentary on Srimad Bhagavata, Nindanam Dosha Kirtanam. There is no question whether the devotee who is under discussion is at fault or not. Speaking bad about such a person is called blasphemy. This is interesting. Mm. So this is a very interesting sentence. This Baba said, many people think that there is no harm in discussing the fault of some devotee who is engaged in some wicked activities. Because that criticism is true and justified. But there is no question whether the devotee who is under discussion is at fault or not. Speaking but about such a person is called blasphemy. Mm. So, this is, uh, we are thinking, if somebody is fault, we see he or she is fault. Okay, we can discuss. Mm. We can we can criticize. But this also anything speaking but about the person is blasphemy. Yeah. So this is uh, the reason why we may not advance. Mm. That's also one reason. This is very interesting. It is natural that we wonder who are these devotees offending whom we commit an offense to the holy name? In his book, Madhurya Kadambini, Srila Vishwanatha. Srila Vishwanatha Chakravarti gives the answer. It is not proper to think that only those devotees who are merciful, non-violent, tolerant, etc., 
are to be considered saints and that those who are not endowed with such qualities are not saints and that one can thus blaspheme fame them without committing an offense to the holy name actually anyone who worships god be he deceitful ill-behaved hy hypocritical and unclean is a saint and to be blasphemed or criticized such a person is an offense to the holy name Shri Krishna himself says in Bhagavad Gita 9.30 Even if one commits the most abominable activities, he is to be considered a saint when he exclusively worships me, for he is on the right path. Those who have fixed the thought in their mind, I will be blessed by worshipping the Supreme Lord, and who do not worship demigods, but only the Supreme Lord, are saints. Even if they misbehave, and to criticize even them is an offense to the holy name. Yes, mm -hmm. So this is a <laughs> Baba is saying actually anyone who worship God be he deceitful ill-behaved, hypocritical, and unclean is a saint. And to blaspheme or criticize such a person is an offense to the holy name. So could you help something? So it means, you know, this is really interesting. Anyone who worships God, even he is deceitful, ill-behaved, hypocritical, unclean, also he is saved because of worshiping God. And to blaspheme or criticize such a person is an offense to the Holy Spirit. Uh, I remember what mm, it's from Bhagavad Gita, mm. 9 chapter, mm. verse 30. Mm. 30. Mm. Yes. Apichet is yes. Means su Sudracharo means his behavior too much. Durachar means too much, not good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, but if he is fixed in his worshiping, uh, how it's, it's written here, not worshiping other gods. Mm. For him only one God means one Nishta Devata. Mm. Then he is fixed in Nishta Devata, then Krishna is still in his sadhu. Mm. And that person who is accepting this, uh, Krishna is given how to say, he promised that person will be very soon rightful, mm. become, become uh, receive his quality, rightfulness. Mm. Mm. He has become pious person. Mm. Because what I understood um, in the beginning, some external, because body itself and uh, has how to say it's inertial system. Hmm? Body physical inertial system means it person can be changed, but body will not change so quickly. Physical body and uh -huh. some things not possible to change at all. Uh -huh. For example, you couldn't change the color of body. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and some faults in subtle body also will be 
Mm. Mm. But he already, deep in himself, was changed. He changed mm. by mercy of Bhagavan. Mm. Mm. It started. It's like we're putting seed mm -hmm. in earth. Mm. It's need time when seed will give sprout and sprout give leaves and flowers oh. and fruits. Mm. But it's already where Guru mm. gave mantra, Guru mm. gave Harinam mm. mantra, mm. and so on. This person already decide, decided to in himself to go in this way. It means uh, go to in direction to serve Ishta Devata. Mm. Mm -hmm. But he is not perfect now because it's mm. how, how Shri Prabhupada told slowly, progressively, slowly it's mm. slowly coming. But, but for Krishna, <laughs> for Krishna, it's like this. This is a uh, what we, we start and he's considered him sadhu. Mm. Once the translation or interpretation of Slav Sad means Siddha, who is going directly to his goal. Mm. He found his goal and going to his goal. Yeah, this is a very good point. Before I had this kind of a story, so here in, in, in this room, there is a fun. In summertime, very hot. <laughs> we have a, uh, you know, fan is full, full speed. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, okay, we, we start air conditioning, mm. cooler, so we don't need it. So, and then we switch off, plug off, plug out. Mm. So switch off, but still, Still, this kind of fun is still kind of, you know, mm -hmm. what you say, moving. Right. moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, to, to stop the, the fun, it takes some time. Mm. <laughs> so, when we worship the Lord, we start chanting a holy name. It's like a plug off or switch off. Or in other words, Radha Charanji say, we put seed, love seed, seed of love. But still, this sprout is so, so small. We cannot kind of, it cannot manifest immediately. But if we nicely watering and what is the fertilizer, yeah. you, know, you know, fertilizing, and then slowly, slowly, this kind of uh, sprout become bigger and strong. But from beginning, very, very naive. Even a little bit something happened in broken. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, like what you say, this kind of, you know, this is, yeah, this is a very good point. May I ask one question? Mm -hmm. So I have one question about Sadhu Ninda. So I don't know how to think uh, uh, in this case, for example, one devotee uh, criticizes my Gurudev or my dear devotees. Mm -hmm. In this case, of course, automatically, I'm gonna come, I'm still too young. I cannot have a big heart. It is also saddening that, even though they are sad, but for some reason they criticize or don't do good behavior, no respect to our Guru Dev and our dear devotees. How to think about in this case? Automatically, I'm going to come. This also saddening that. So this say, any case we should not criticize. Stay peaceful. Don't say anything. That's the safest position, mm. especially for Guru Dev. It's, it's very heavy. <laughs> so therefore, if, if we hear something, bad thing, then we should leave this place. Mm. Mm. That is the best way. Shastra say, mm. because why that? If we hear, then bad thing is stay inside. Mm -hmm. Why we hear Harikata or glorification of devotees? Because this glorification clean our heart. But 
whatever bad thing we hear, then that stay in our heart. Mm. Then we we are doing clean, but same time we are kind of we are we are putting put inside some dirty thing. So therefore, my understanding is like this: any reason, if we see any bad things, better not say anything. Just leave it. Mm. Keep distance. Keep away. Don't. Don't engage the same same discussion. No arguing. No, better to aloof. Better to you know stay outside. That is, I think, best way. Because even hear hearing also not good. Yeah. No first. No first. I have a mic. Okay. I just uh, wanted to ask if it's right. Um, just Gurudev has the right to, um, mm, how to say, to not to criticize, but to correct. to correct, thank you, the devotee, his disciple. Yeah. This is what I remembered, that we have not the right to judge other. We have always to look our own no, to to see who I'm standing today. No, what can I do better on, for myself? Not to see the mistakes in others. This is really hard. Yeah, and just Gurudev has the right to yeah to say something to his disciple so that he can grow. Sure. Mm. And we. Yeah, that is sure. And even thinking is bad, but. But how to stop that we think? So it's, I think, worse to say it loud out, but even to think badly about a person is not good. But how to stop this? This comes like, you know, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, even harder. Yeah, it's basically for good or bad. It's difficult yeah. to control. So it's also sadhu ninda if we just uh, think I this. Want to also add something. Yeah, from <clears throat> point of view sadhaka, of, for myself, I'm uh, agree with ja what Jan told. It's better to me to leave this place. Yeah. But our acharyas, guru, they can for the benefit because of love. They can do. They can correct or even some looks. It will be looks like they criticize them. They tell him about faults of this type of thinking um, or lifestyle. They can do this, but because of they doing uh, from due to love, it's not ninda. Ninda mm. means evil feelings in heart. Mm -hmm. But prema can also cause externally something like chastising. Mm. For example, we hear. Many times, how Shilpapada told about some people, rascals, stupid, something like this. <laughs> but it's not uh, uh, Ninda. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, he is full of love. It's completely different. Externally, it looks like the mm. same, but it's by nature, it's completely different. Mm. Yeah, I think blasphemy and correction is different, I think. Mm. And Guru Dev can you know, chest is you know, chest is disciple. That is, you know, that is, you know, his kind of, <laughs> you know, the kind of role. He has to do it. But uh, sometimes, like we see, like some senior devotees see, like uh, behavior, neophyte devotee from beginners behave a little bit wrong. Then we should say, oh, you know, very humbly. Mm. I think this is way to behave is this is, uh, I think, better because of this reason. Mm. Because Bhaisan behaves like this. Like a good dev say, you know, so after eating, we'll, we wash hand and uh, hand and mouth and then touch the bees. Sometimes, you know, especially Western, we don't know sometimes after eating also we touch it. That's also sometimes we some kind of advice correction is okay. But the kind of criticize is kind of inside kind of bad intention mm. or some kind of envious. 
I keep the negative mood. Yeah, kind of negative mood. So I think this is kind of depend on our mood, which mood we have. That's also quite a mm. good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I will. Uh, I I remembered once one instance Kapila Dev, Fort Kent of Bhagavat. Yeah. He said, if someone worships me on the altar mm. but doesn't properly behave with all souls mm. i will not take any offering from him mm. so this is like even broader we are now speaking about very how to say a group of people who are after God consciousness. But even broader, Radha Krishna don't like. This, when we go into association of devotees and we have negative feelings toward, towards devotees, then it will just, how to say, naturally, like, uh, disconnect us from devotees. Meaning, no like no devotion like this radha and krishna are of course very merciful and sometimes we, we disagree with some devotees but we are still devotee it doesn't kill our devotion because we just how to say softly disagree <laughs> then, we, then we find radha krishna arranges some other group of devotees where we can nourish our devotion so this is like soft but keeping these negative thoughts that come from material energy and keeping them as a truth oh devotees are blah 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 and you are blah 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 that will hurt us yeah and that will that will disconnect us and there is one very good thing it's uh, it's how to say it's we read in saints of Vraj, mm. <laughs> this Baba receiving wealthy guests and then these thieves came to him mm. and said to him, Baba, we saw who is coming, show us your treasure. He said, I don't know what are you talking about. <laughs> no one, I am not receiving any donations. Mm. Yeah, if you like go there and try to find it they didn't find anything mm. and they beat him almost to death yeah. when when he get when some other day they uh, after some some people ask him so baba what happened blood all over <laughs> baba said ah some vaishnavas came and gave him show me some mercy <laughs> Yeah, this is it. Wow. <laughs> this it's is too hard. <laughs> this is re this Baba is seeing reality. It they were not thieves mm. and they didn't beat him. They were devotees showing him mercy. This is reality. There are no wrong bad people, wrong, bad situations. It's all somehow uh, obviously or less obviously connected with Radha and Krishna. Nothing escapes Ishtadev. Nothing escapes loving control of Radha and Krishna. Everything comes out of love and goes towards love. This is how I understand. This is my personal goal. <laughs> yeah. What is the what should be my consciousness while I'm here? You know, many things come from inside. How to forgive myself? How to see myself as a saint? 
<gasps> and not be puffed up? How to see others and saints and giving mercy to me? Wow, what a world. I want to live in this world. I don't want to live in negative world. And then if I am, how to say, careful about everyone, devotees are included naturally and devotees are my sajatiya. They feel this manjari way and yeah, my God, they are devotees are so close. So yeah, this is what I want to yeah, tell. Very good point. <laughs> <laughs> So, Andakajis give us so good point because we are so conditioned. Our, our vision is still in the mode of, you know, in the mood of like kind of ignorance and passion. We see this is good, this is bad. Mm. You know, we are, our mind thinking, Oh, this criticism is, is not good for me. Oh, he hurt me is not good for me. But actually, the other sense is undergrad is really correct. Because the devotee is so humble. Oh, actually, I'm so puffed up. Oh, actually, he, you said truth. Actually, I have to accept this is mercy of the Lord. Like a Parikshit Maharaj. He, you know, he, he went to, he was this thirsty and he was kind of, kind of hunting, then become, be, then become very thirsty. Then he was looking for water and one, one sages some kind of ashram there. Then he, and then Sadhu was meditating and the Parikshita Maharaj was a little bit impassionate. Rade, rade, of course, he did not say rade, rade, but you know. <laughs> Hello, you know, <laughs> I need, I'm thirsty, please give me water. But he did not reply because so much deep meditation. And then, finally, Maharaj Parikshit was picking up dead snake and put the, put the, the neck of this, this, mm -hmm. this sadhu. Mm -hmm. Then, sun is coming, find out who is doing this kind of what. My father is so great. You know, Sadhu, who is do that? And he understand, oh, this is King Maharaja Parikshit. Okay, I'll curse you. In a seven day, you will die by biting, you know, a snake, what say, snake yeah, bird. Yeah. yeah, flying snake or snake bird or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then Maharaja Parikshit had this curse. He could counteract. But, yes. but actually, oh, actually, this is mercy. I know now. Yeah, actually, it, I, I could understand my reality. This is mercy. So let me, let me die. Because I'm as a king, I so puffed up. You know, I have so many power, money, lady, nice son, etc. So this curse is actually great mercy of the Lord. So Andakaji is saying this is kind of Paramahansa vision. The Gurudev also vision is the same thing. Someone criticize. Oh, actually, you don't see reality. I'm more bad person. You know? <laughs> like this, you know. So this is very, very interesting. And we, we could run. But uh, our tendency is, you know, we want to argue. We become angry because of our whole thing. <laughs> so this is, I think, if we could see everything love and everything mercy of the Lord, then we could advance very, very quickly. Yeah, and then we are, yes, we are, we are floating in the mercy of the Lord because everything that person feel mercy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Wow. laughs> second, to think that Sri Vishnu and Sri Shiva are independent truth. Those who think that the qualities and names and so of Sri Vishnu are separate 
from those of Sri Shiva are offenders to the holy name. In other words, to become a Bhavishvaravadi, one who thinks that there are many gods, that Lord Shiva has separate powers from Lord Vishnu, and vice versa, vice versa, is an offense to the holy name. The Vaishnavas think of Lord Shiva as the servant of Shri, Kish of Shri Krishna and of Shri Krishna as the supreme controller. Third, to disrespect the Guru, to consider Sri Guru to be an ordinary human being is an offense, for he is the Lord's Karunya Gana Vigraha, the personification of his great mercy. Just as ice is the result of cooling of liquid water, so the Lord's mercy becomes substantial and descends to earth in the form of the Guru to redeem the fallen souls. This is how the proper disciple looks at his Guru. The disciple always thinks of the transcendental attributes of his Guru. He never looks at the external or titular shortcomings in his divine form. For that would make him seem human, human, and the holy name will not be pleased with such a chanter. So this mention, if water become cool it down, then become ice. Mercy become like, a, I don't know, cool it down, or maybe mercy <laughs> become condensed. Then make foam. <clears throat> that is a good day. We are discussing this morning also. Our meditation, our Baba, our Stai Baba, our feeling become condensed. Then we have a spiritual body. So anyway, in this case, Disciple has material vision because not pure from beginning at least. So therefore, disciple has tendency to, <coughs> to see Guru. Guru is material body. Guru has material body. Then the body is thinking kind of material fault finding sometimes. But here mentioned Baba mentioned, disciple always think of transcendental attribute of his guru. He never looks at the external or titular shortcoming in his divine home. For this would make him seem the human. Then the holy name will not be pleased with such chant. So, it's not so, it may not so easy, but the uh, disciple try to see Guru Dev's spiritual body. Guru Dev has a spiritual body, Guru Dev has a spiritual manjari form. Then also we, we also we have to think 
I have a spiritual body. I have a manjari form. If we try to think like this, then we could see Guru Dev's more divine. Also, we can we we become easy to become a soul consciousness, <laughs> which Guru Dev was saying. That is Guru Dev. This this is Baba saying. Mm. Disciples always think of the transcendental attribute of his guru. Transcendental means spiritual qualities, means spiritual swarupa. So disciple could never look at external or titular shortcomings in his divine home. So this is very good instruction mm. for me, for us. Okay. So I'm hearing this how to say for about offenses for quite some time. And slowly, <laughs> I am less, uh, less and less afraid. Meaning, at first, when we hear that our Gurudev is divine, divinely empowered, then we try to see this. But for this, we need divine eyes. Two. So, see, no, see. It's more than we don't see than see. <laughs> like this. I, in my case. But there is, for me, one very practical solution. Practical solution is bhakti. Bhakti means devotion. Devotion means service. Service means I am servant of my guru. I'm servant of everyone, so I'm servant of my guru. I gave, I opened my heart so that guru can do his guru job here. So, what servant, what makes servant servant? To me, servant means, how can I help? What can I do? <laughs> how can I make you happy? Servant doesn't want to understand anything else but how to make his beloved person happy. For me, this is the most practical way of life. Just stay servant. Stay servant. Mm -hmm. And now stay servant longer. <laughs> and now also stay servant. Don't move from, from your constitutional position. <laughs> servant. And what now? What now? Stay servant. <laughs> and how now? How? Stay servant. Ask what to do, how to make your good. <laughs> Very practical. Um. I don't need to know anything else. I don't need to be concerned about anything else. I don't need to go deeply into anything else. The only deep is, is my Guru's Dev smiling? <laughs> is my Guru Dev give, giving me prasad? <laughs> is my Guru Dev giving me more service, most important? Does my Guru trust me to give me more mm. seva? Because why? I am servant. End of story. For me, this is the best cure 
mm. for anything because experience is so super sweet after some times we don't want to go from sweetest experience wow. mm. the sweetest experience when we sit with our guru there mm. <laughs> nod our heads <laughs> do the beamer <laughs> discuss the world situation <laughs> in a peaceful happy mood <laughs> then do some more service then I don't know clean something then Shyama Priya comes then we change the sheets this is the life life of a servant that's life everything else is dying mm. I mean this is for me so rather <laughs> <laughs> so Andakaja has a very good point and very great realization, which I don't have it. And I also I found out because for me I'm so lazy, you know, and I'm so bad disciple. I cannot serve Guru Dev nicely, you know, honestly speaking. So, but as a devoted serving, you know. Oh, Mahatma serving very nicely, you know, Gurudev Seva, which I cannot do this. You know, Andakaji doing Bhima very nicely, which I cannot do this. <laughs> Rasarira could do so much nice personal Seva for Gurudev, very nice, which I cannot do this. <laughs> Shama Priya does so much nice Seva for Gurudev, which unfortunately I cannot do this. You know, many devotees doing so many service for Guru Dev, which I cannot do. I want to do sometimes I cannot do. So much situation, you know, time is different. Seba is I have another seba. So at that time, I try to feel appreciation. Oh, this devotee doing Guru Dev, which I cannot do. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. You know, you are so nice devotee. I wish to do, but I'm more, unfortunately, I'm not so much lucky for you. Not like, not lucky for you. So I'm really appreciate. Mm -hmm. This kind of mentality I try to cultivate. Yeah. You know, sometimes like Uddhavaji talking Bhagavad Gita, you know, I'm mm -hmm. surprising. I was reading Bhagavad Gita, you know, 36 years. Still, I cannot talk like Uttava. Mm. Oh my God. Just appreciate Uttava. Mm. You know, Goranga, Goranga Sundara, you know, mm. he, his realization is so great, you know, which I cannot say like this. Mm. Appreciate, try to, try to appreciate. Because before, you know, before, I was a little bit envious because I have some competition mood. Mm. But I try to give up this mood, you know, because sanskar is different, talent is different, time, place, circumstance is different. You know, place is, seva place is also different. <laughs> it's compete, is nonsense, you know. Yeah. Just appreciate, you know, oh, Gopinata Bhaiya, you are so great. You are doing so nice seva. Oh, Sachinandaranji, you are so sweet, Kirtan, you know, for us, for the you know, for DT, for Gurudev. Thank you very much. That's Mataji also singing Gopi Gita so nicely, mm -hmm. you know. Oh my God, on, 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 on behalf of DT, for us. Very sweetly singing, thank you very much. You know, you are great. This kind of, you know, mentality, try to, uh, what is it, cultivate. Then, sweet, loving feeling. Yeah, sweet, mm, loving feeling. Sending. Then we don't need to, we don't need to care to so much offenses. Yeah. Because offense, ninda and love is complete opposite side. Mm. Love and ego is complete opposite sides. Mm. So therefore, Guru Dov did not say about offense. He, he talked about love yeah. in action. Because if we are in love in action, automatically this offense is avoided. Right. Right. 
But still, you know, we are so new fight. We hearing this Baba's expression also great help actually.、Mm. That's my feeling. Mm. Mm. Number four, to blaspheme the Shruti scriptures. The Shruti scriptures are superhuman. It is said, Vidaya Titi Veda, the Vedas explain themselves. Vedic scriptures like Srimad Bhagavata are also self manifest. The Puranas And history books are full with clear explanations of the Vedas. So they are also on Vedic level. It is an offense to the holy name to blaspheme such scriptures. Those scriptures which preach jnana, intellectual, spiritual realization, and karma work. Are also most merciful, for they engage those people who are not ready yet for the path of devotion, being still too attached to jnana and karma. These scriptures gradually bring such souls, such souls into the temple of devotion. So one certainly commits an offense to the holy name by blaspheming such, such scriptures. Number five, to consider the glorification of the holy name to be exaggerated. This glorification is done by the revealed scriptures. And self realized souls, and one should not think that their statements are exaggerated. As a matter of fact, their glorifications are only a drop of the shoreless ocean of the Holy Name's glories. Even the thousand headed Lord Ananta. Can never find the end to its glories. So one should never think those glorifications are only made to create faith in the minds of the practicing devotees. The holy name is self manifest and self perfect and is not dependent on any ritual or glorification. Therefore, there is no question of any exaggeration in the glorification of the holy name. <laughs> so, Krishna is spiritual. Krishna is all powerful and、uh, he has all opulence. He is all merciful. He has Six transcendent, you know, six qualities, and he has everything. That means his holy name also, similarly, he has good quality like Krishna. So then, any glorification is true.、Mm. Because Krishna is say, if we say Krishna is, you know, everything, Krishna is all powerful, has all opulence, you know, all merciful, he can do anything he likes. That means the holy name also could do anything.、Mm-hmm. So therefore, even Ananta Shesha, Ananta Deva also cannot find the end of its glory. Because Krishna's glory is unlimited. Nobody can say fully, even Ananta Deva. So, what to speak, you know, and then also same thing we could say, holy name. 
Because the holy name and the Krishna is same.、Mm-hmm. Or even, holy name is even merciful than the you know, Lord Himself. Because if we commit offense to the Lord, if we take shelter of the holy name of the Lord, then that also clears.、Mm-hmm. So anyway, this is, you know, if we think holy name and Krishna the same, then naturally we may understand. That is one very nice there is one very nice one、uh, nice like uh, uh, graphic uh, description of Of、uh, Radha Krishna,、um, of their completeness.、Mm. Madhurya, Leela, Guna, Rupa,、mm. Namna.、Mm. Uh, sweet Leela, sweet、uh, Madhurya, Leela, Guna, sweet characteristics, sweet personality. Guna, Rupa, sweet beauty, and sweet name. <coughs> It's like there is, you know,、uh, uh, we all heard kaleidoscope.、Mm-hmm. Kaleidoscope. 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 Like,、mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there is blue, red, yellow, something. And it's all in.、Mm-hmm. But as you turn, you see blue. Ah, blue. Then you turn a little bit more. Oh, it's red. The, oh, it's, now it's golden. But you know, Blue is there, you see golden, but no,、ah, go, yellow. <laughs>、uh, yeah, I see yellow, but red and blue are still there. And then it's just time when the yellow, when the red will come again. So it's, it's uh, uh, how I,、uh, in my heart, how I accept this completeness that there is person. With all his at- these attributes,、mm. Leela, Guna, Rupa, Nama,、mm. and it's all, it's all God. It's all one.、Mm. It's all Radha Krishna. Yeah, this is how I, it's、uh, in my consciousness. At first, there was like, aha,、uh-huh, God and his name. No, no, God name. Not God and his name, God name, God Lila, God Guna, <laughs> God Rupa.、Mm. <laughs> yeah, like this. It's all one Radha Krishna. Yeah. And the different aspects of Radha Krishna. Yeah. How they wish to、uh, reveal to us, they reveal. Sometimes there, there is a spurti, sometimes there is. Some realization of their mercy. Sometimes there is, they come as bhajan. We hear bhajan, our mind sings bhajan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes comes as, as nama on our lips. It's all them. They are、mm-hmm. chanting, they are thinking, they are doing all this. They are just revealing in their different way. Rade, super sweet. Rade and Krishna love us very much. Mm. <laughs> We chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Is Radha Krishna dancing on that kind of tongue?、Yeah. This Andakaji was saying, you know, similar, you know. And then, and Rupa Goswami wrote this one, one kind of poet. Then Raman Daya is so, sh- you know, so shocked. You are, you are not, you, you are not writing poet. You are like, <laughs> <laughs> that kind of nectar. <laughs> please, please go, go, go ahead, you know, something like this. <laughs> Number six to consider the glories of the holy name to be imaginary, to minimize the glorifications of the holy name in scriptures such as Srimad Bhagavata. Is another great offense to Vaishnavism. It is not good to be an unbeliever or atheist. By arguing and counter arguing, thinking, I don't accept 
the existence of what I cannot understand. Our brains are never able to grasp the truth about transcendental matters. Therefore, it is not good to argue about them or to disbelieve them. When our intelligence becomes spiritualized beyond the three modes of the material psyche, then one will be able to grasp transcendental truth. In this material world, we can experience the wonderful powers of mantras, herbs, stones, and so on. And we can also not ascertain these powers simply by arguing about them. If we cannot even argue about material powers, what then to speak of spiritual, spiritual powers? Therefore, one should not argue about spiritual things as they are inconceivable to material brains. Wow. Number seven. To commit sinful activities on the strength of chanting the holy name. In the scriptures, we can read that all sins are destroyed by chanting the holy name. Even the greatest sins are burned by the holy name as, as a heap of cotton is burned to ashes by fire. But if one willingly sins, thinking that these sins will be destroyed on the strength of the holy name, one commits a terrible offense to the holy name. It is only the greatest rascal who would commit disgusting sins on the strength of that holy name, which can easily give us the greatest blessings of human life, love of God, and ecstatic dev devotional service. The reactions to sins, the reactions to sins committed in that consciousness will count millions of times heavier than normal. Even many rituals of atonement mm. or a long-term <clears throat> punishment by Yamaraj, the god of death, and punishment after death cannot purify one from such sins. Because this is kind of a complete opposite of love, kind of dishonest. Like uh, if we may have a friend and uh, okay, I can <clears throat> I can take care of your problem. But uh, that friend take advantage that's his word. Okay, you can take care of me. Okay, I can do anything, but then friend say, no, 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 you know, I'm I'm not meant for that. If some you are you are doing honestly doing something, then problem coming, then I will take care of it. But if you willingly make me trouble, then this is another story. Mm. So similarly, holy name also may understand, you know, like difference, this. Yeah. yeah, difference. Because you are not honest. Mm. You are not to you, you are completely uh, be your behavior is, is opposite of love. Mm. 
Yeah. Kind of, you are kind of cheating. Pretending. Pretending. So this yeah. kind of mentality, we also, we don't like it. Mm. So similarly, holy name does not like it. Mm. Number eight, to consider the holy name to be equal to other auspicious activities. It is a terrible offense to the holy name to consider it to be equal to pious acts such as dharma, following religious principles, vrata, keeping vows, tiaga, renunciation, homa, fire sacrifices, and so on. Thus one tries to limit the glories of the holy name And this is counted as an offense. Number nine, to advise a faceless person to chant the holy name. It is an offense to instruct an unwilling person, for that person will react in a disrespectful way. And that is an offense on the part of the preacher. So, <laughs> some devotee asking question. This nice apparada to advise a faceless person to chant the holy name. You want to say something? Huh? So, you know, sometimes, like, like sometimes preacher want to distribute holy name, but this mentioned to advise a faceless person to chant, chant the holy name. Mm. Do you want to say something? Mm. It's because the holy name is a person. Mm. Mm. If I want to introduce someone who is dear to me to someone but i see the bad attention from no is no appreciation how can i do this with someone who is dear to me nice. wow this is very nice yeah. beautiful yeah. very nice experience mm. yeah. yes and also it will be violence towards his jiva also mm. ah. i heard one story it's my friend told me it's not about holy name it's about a kadashi mm. He started to preach one lady about the Kadashi. Mm. And his heart told me, told to him, don't do this. Um, He's Jiva not ready. Yeah. Mm. But he felt he, he felt what it's the question a little bit more nicely to explain. Mm. And he thought, because I not follow my heart, after I lose my how to say heart become more. Heart. Uh, close again. Yeah, close. close. close and mm. to follow a Kaddish for me start, uh, becomes more difficult. Oh. It's uh, like I did some, uh, uh, not like, it was offense to Tsekadashi Devi, Bhakti Devi. He told me, oh. I thought I can do this. Just it's more to find other way how to explain it. But it's not about words. It's, this person just was not ready at all. Yeah. yeah. Oh. didn't want to be revealed. And he told he suffered from the result of this like one year. Oh my god. Yeah. He, it was he told it suffering in heart. Mm, pain. Yeah. yeah, actually this is uh, I feel Guru Dev also doing like this. Means actually we should do this. Not only holy name. Teaching also, my understanding, whatever they can accept things, we should tell that person. Mm. First, clear the way. Yeah. Then introduce the name. First, clear with. Yeah, also, you mm -hmm. know, even, even also, you know, sometimes we have a tendency to, to speak everything to yeah, the yeah, person. Yeah. <laughs> And then the person cannot accept everything. Yeah. Mm. So therefore, whatever they can accept, that thing we, we 
better to tell them or teach them. Like I was a teaching student, you know, when I was a kind of a college time, I was teaching, you know, primary school student, junior high school student. But actually, we have to see according to their, their capacity, their ability to take. Accordingly, we have to teach, we have to show. Otherwise, they can they cannot digest, confuse. I think this also, and also they become demoniac. They, they, they me become more angry mm. if we do too much. Too much. Yeah. Or if we push. So therefore, this natural way, natural way of, what is it, is sharing is very nice, mm. I feel. Yeah, loving well, gently. Yeah. And what I felt now was what came to me, Guru Dev also saying, waiting, patience, patience. So you do your chanting, distributing, I don't know, preaching, friending. Living in Vrindavan, reading Bhagavatam, and then you do waiting <laughs> and hoping and trusting, and then again, Seva, then again, waiting, hoping, trusting. It's a bhakti is a sure way. Some people say uh, about certain things, yeah, like the most certain thing is death. No one ever can escape. <laughs> escape to death. Oh. We in Bhakti can say no one ever escaped Radha. <laughs> Radha is the most, how to say, stubborn. <laughs> she loves us so much. Then she then she will she will gently <laughs> drag us, push us, uh, yeah, like do whatever need she needs to do. <laughs> like mama with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she will do it. She will do it. And then we will escape dying. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. Not to love the holy name even after hearing its glorification. A practicing devotee who gives no attention to the holy name, who is intoxicated by sense enjoyment and is filled with bodily feelings of I and mine, is an offender to the holy name. The primary result of the chanting of the holy name is love, love for the Lord's lotus feet. Destruction of sinful reactions and liberation from material existence are secondary results. The only reservation is offense. If one avoids the aforementioned offenses, one can become freed from the bad luck of having no taste and be blessed with prema love of God. In this connection, the Padma Purana says, one who unteringly chants the holy name can become freed from all the offenses to the chanting. When one has 
consciously offended a great soul, one can be forgiven by falling at his feet and begging for forgiveness. But the results of the offense will not leave the person who thinks, why should I apologize personally? Let me just constantly chant to become free from my offenses. then that offense to the saint will not be forgiven by the Lord. Rather, the offense will weigh even heavier on the offender. Also, when one commits seva aparada unknowingly, these offenses can be eradicated by chanting Nama Sankirtana. But when one purpose, purposefully commits such offenses, thinking they will be forgiven by chanting the holy name, that is another terrible offense to the holy name. Other than that, all offenses committed knowingly or unknowingly are forgiven if one constantly chants Nama Sankirtana with repentance. One should chant Hari Nama with love and repentance, having firm faith that if I take shelter of Bhakti Devi, my offenses will certainly cease. And as a result of my Sankirtana, I will surely attain devotion. Faith is absolutely required if one wants to give up committing offenses. And that faith can be attained by those in whose heart repentance and eagerness arises. How can a person become freed from offenses if he is not repeat, repenting from the beginning? For the sake of destroying offenses, one repents, and if the offenses do not cease, then one anxiously takes shelter of the holy name. Certainly, the holy name will become pleased with such a chanter and bless him with a treasure of prema. Sriman Mahaprabhu teaches all the practicing devotees of the world how to chant the holy name with attachment by pretending that he himself has no attachment to it. Although he is love of the holy name personified, The chanting of practicing devotee should be full of such, a, such attachment. The holy name contains the full savor of Sri Krishna's form, qualities, and sweetness. But an offender cannot experience any of it. Therefore, he can also not chant with eagerness and attachment. The name is coming out of his mouth mechanically while he's contaminated, while his contaminated mind freely wanders through the forest of the sense object. So, while he has a beat bag in his hand and he's chanting 
his prescribed number of rounds. He speaks on different local and foreign subjects about sense objects and even about other devotees' faults and shortcomings. Actually, bhakti pate podaye vigati. A disaster happens on the path of devotion. If sugati, auspiciousness, is not there, there will be vigati, calamity, and durdaiva, bad luck. But a person who offensively chants the holy name in the company of the saint, of saints, aiming at the savor of the nectar of the holy name, will easily be blessed with loving attachment to the life of Bhajana. Sriman Mahaprabhu personally gave the following summary of this verse. Many people have many different desires and you are so kind that you have revealed many different names. One can chant the holy name while eating or while lying down. There is no restriction in time and place. It always grants perfection. You have invested all your powers in your holy names, but I am so unfortunate that I have no attachment to them. Here ends verse number two. Thank you. So this is a very interesting point. While he has a beeswax in his hand and he is chanting the prescribed number of the round, he speaks on different local and foreign subjects about sense objects and even about other devotees' fault and shortcoming. Actually, a disaster happened on the path of devotion. If Sugati auspiciousness is not there, there will be bigati calamity and dru daiva battle. This also speaking on different local foreign subject, sense object, even about other devotees' faults and shortcomings. This is very dangerous thing. Even when chanting. Even when chanting. <laughs> because chanting means we 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 supposed to remember the Lord's name, Om, Luna, Our friends, servants, you know, Lira and Seva, <laughs> etc. But uh, we are we are thinking, talking different subject. Mm. <clears throat> what came to me? Mm. <laughs> Offender. Is sweet loving soul in trouble? This is offender. Hmm? Again? Offender is sweet loving soul in trouble. Sweet loving soul in trouble. In trouble. Soul <laughs> is trying to find remembers somewhere behind, remembers this amazing experience of serving, giving happiness to Ishtadev within, in company of his amazing friends. 
and trying to find it, look for it everywhere. And then no there, no experience there, no ex- then panic. <laughs> Where is my Ishta there? Where is my service? Where are my friends? Panic, despair, depression. What should I do? And then we know when we are in this hysterical kind of consciousness, we do stupid things. But still, it's not that we stop being sweet, loving souls. Mm. It's just that we are in trouble now. We cannot find the love of our lives. And uh, I am not sure that what I'm saying, this is just for me. I'm just expressing my feeling. Mm. When I see soul in trouble, mm. I see reality. I don't see offender. I see, oh my God, this pure servant of Radha and Krishna in trouble. Can we help? Can we help? Can we make, make him smile again and cry uh, out of happiness again? And this is, I think, how Gurudev and high souls bring us back. Mm. They give us love, give us love. You are so, you are so, you are so. They understand what's going on. And then they, they say, don't believe, don't believe what your mind says. Don't go for this. This is not solution. Your solution is to be again you. Don't run away from you. Your Ishtadev is here. Your service is here. Just come, see, try, feel sweet life again. And then, offender, (laughs) offender, (laughs) becomes normal. Because of love that flows through Guru, through Sadhu, through Shastra, through inside, through our inside is our Ishta, they're always with us. Inside from inside out. There are no offenders in my... I'm bl- when I'm blessed, I see no offenders, I see pure soul trying to find Ishta there and in panic doing stupid stuff. Yeah, lost. S- lost souls. The soul feels, feels lost because, yeah. So let's, 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 I don't know if we can try to help this soul find find himself or herself again, find herself again. Mm. No bad feelings, only hopeful, trustful, loving feelings. Mm, Rade. Rade. Thank you. Mm. So is there some comment or some sharing from uh, Good <laughs> Yeah, good day. 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 Good no, I 
All of these leaves here. Birds of fire. All right. Guru Dev headquarters calling here. <laughs> we can hear you clearly. <laughs> no, I want. I wanted to. Um, I wanted to uh, give my agreement to Andakechi and what he said about the soul, about the suffering soul. That um, that a soul that's in um, aparad is a soul that's suffering. That's a soul that is disconnected from the love in its life. That's that's forgotten the love in its life. It's not broken. It's not lost. No. It's not fallen. It's uh, merely disconnected from the love that it already owns. So I really believe what Dandakaji said there, that um, that offenses are caused, caused by suffering souls, not by evil souls. Okay, thank you very much for everybody and Virudev and Gurdavaji. And so 